taking you through my day, starting off with this fussy little babe. So usually I try to wake up before the kids. I get myself showered and as ready as I can be, but on this morning in particular, I got my shower in and my hair blown dry and then Leo woke up. So I came out here to change him, nurse him, and then he usually falls back to sleep and that's when I usually go back into the bathroom and finish getting myself ready for the day. going to share more about this Haka manual breast pump a little bit later on in the video, but that first feed in the morning I'm usually pretty engorged, especially if he's sleeping through the night, so I usually pop that on one side while he nurses on the other just to catch any milk that might be let down. getting my hair curled and makeup on. I know it's crazy. I don't usually go anywhere. I'm a stay-at-home mom, but if I don't get myself ready in the day, I just feel like a lazy bum. So getting myself ready makes me feel good about myself and overall just makes me more productive throughout the day. Hey guys, happy Monday. Bentley is still sleeping. Leo's over there still sleeping. I wanted to just share this because I feel like this has been such a game changer with breastfeeding and like pumping. I don't pump regularly, I just pump if Leo decides to like sleep longer and I become really engorged and uncomfortable or if I'm away from him, which doesn't happen often, but that's really the only time. But the Haka, I think is how you call it, I didn't have with Bentley and got when Leo was born and it's been so amazing because basically what it is, this is like the little cap. It's a little silicone manual breast pump. I just use it as like a catch-all. So what happens usually is when Leo's nursing on one side or I'm pumping on one side, I'll put this on the other side and it catches any of my letdown from the other side. And a lot of times it's like an ounce, sometimes two, without doing anything except just suctioning it to your boob. And once you suction it, it like stays there. So you don't have to worry about like holding it there or actually pumping it but I mean if I didn't have this like this would have ended up just on a soaked breast pad which hurts my heart so this is a must-have anytime I breastfeed Leo I put it on the opposite side or I'm pumping I always keep this with me they've actually changed the design of it when I initially bought it it didn't have this suction holder like round bottom um, it wasn't as like sturdy so I love that and they made it a little bit bigger and there is um, numbers on the side here so you can actually see so this is like one ounce um, one ounce is not a big deal in here but when you add it to a bag of milk or put it in a bottle for your babe makes a big difference because this would have just been wasted so you can get these on Amazon I'll have all of the information in the description box below but essentially you just squeeze put it on your boob let go and it's like a suction cup doesn't hurt it's very comfortably comfortable and you also can pump if you wanted to let down like if you're really uncomfortable while your little one's nursing on the other side or you're pumping on the other side you can actually manually pump milk out so I love this if you are a new mama to be or the shower to go to very inexpensive makes such a difference and then I just typically will pour this into whatever milk I have in a bottle or a bag to freeze or refrigerate. Mornings are usually when I get like most of my work done because Bentley and Leo are both great sleepers. Bentley sleeps in. Once I feed Leo he goes back to sleep until about 11:30. so he woke up at 8 I think so I got up at 7 30 showered fed him put him back to sleep finished getting ready now is when I like get my work done, do emails, sit at the computer, and get myself like set up for the day before Bentley wakes up and then the whole mom routine starts. Are you happy your brother's awake? Yeah? <laughs> Benny, who's on your PJs? Forky. Forky! We're just getting dressed, right? And we're gonna get Leo a tubby time. 
got tubby time. He's gonna get tubby time. Again, we're then Addy will come home. Drooling. So much drool for one little boy. Yeah. Addie and I just got to Kohl's to return some Amazon things. And then we're gonna get coffee and then we have to get our salmon for dinner tonight. To first. And we need to clear this car out because it's a hot mess. I love the new return Amazon at Kohl's. It's so freaking convenient and saves me a lot of trouble of like printing, packing, mailing. So let's do it. Neo. Neo. <laughs> oh, this room gives me anxiety. We are in Addie's room. Oh, mommy. And we are gonna declutter her room because she Mom. just has too much Mom. stuff Mom, you know these are everywhere. Mom, you know these are containers Ooh. for slime. Oh, Stella really? Stella has this. She told me these are containers. Oh, for where's slime. the other one? It's just, it just out oh. here. She got that for Christmas too? Yeah. All right, no, let's do Christmas, it. But... Where's your giveaway pile? Here. So what we got so far? That's it? Um, there was... Oh, and by the way, these are Luna's presents. But Mom, why, why do you have this bag full of stuff? That's mine. I need to take care of that. Yes, you do. No, Bentley, we're cleaning up. We're not making more of it. Benny! It's time for a nini non. No, what? Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I went to go pick Louie up from basketball. And you know what I noticed? I noticed. <laughs> Let me go get him a basketball. Smallest to biggest. Hold you like a baby. Alright, let's do some. I want him to do some tummy time. Some tummy time. Okay. Tummy time. It's tummy time. Alright. Let's do drawer by drawer. Okay? Okay, what drawer? Let's start here. Yes, I do a scoop it and a call. What? What? <laughs> okay. Um, if you're not going to wear it, we're donating it. Yes? Yes. yes. Merry Christmas. Hopefully it'll fit you next year. I don't know if this will fit you anymore. Oh, oh yeah. Nope. Uh, nope. No way. It's going to be like a belly shirt on you. Yay. No yay. Yes, yay. These I don't think will fit you anymore. I bet we. We're not putting stuff where stuff does not go. If you want to stay up here, then then be good. Don't be fresh, Addie. I'm not fresh. Keep. Those aren't gonna fit you. Uh -huh. Cause you have to think about this is gonna be for this is gonna be for spring and summer, not right now. So by then, this is gonna be even smaller. Oh, get it? Well, like these you wore last summer. <laughs> okay, 
Oh my god. Look how tiny. I need more shorts. Yeah, well this is how we figure out what you need when we go shopping for the spring. I'm gonna get my wrap to put him on me. Pajamas next. Pajamas. Pajamas. Any pair that you don't reach for anymore. What does reach me? Like that you don't want to wear. Oh, Addison, pick them up. You don't just throw them on the floor. Make a pile right here. We're making progress. Don't mind this. It's a lot. Mess. Just take um, it. Can I film? So this pile I'm giving to Addie's little cousin Penelope. And then this pile I'm giving to Addie's other two other little cousins, Mackenzie and Jordan, that are more like her size. P's still like toddler, but a lot of that stuff no, will fit her oh, eventually. Right. Yeah, and then Mackenzie and Jordan are a year younger than Addie, so that's perfect. And then these things I'm just going to drop off at the Salvation Army. We, like, redid all of her drawers Marie Kondo style. This is a pile where the, the, they're just, like, not in any shape to hand-me-down or even pass to Goodwill. T-shirts. This drawer is pretty much empty. This is her dance drawer. Pajamas. She could use a refresh because these are like all her holiday pajamas. And then she has underwear, bathing suits, socks. And she also did her closet. It's gonna change all of the. Wait, what, what am I changing? You're, you're changing. You gotta change the thing, the long sleeve. Oh things. yeah, like when it's spring, I'll switch out her closets. I'll take you in here, just so you can see the mess. Yeah. Um, these are like her tops. Her sweatshirts. We didn't do sweatshirts yet. Those are all her spring dresses, which we'll go through in another couple months when she's actually when and it's toys. spring, and we'll see what size she is. Formal dresses. These are her fall and winter dresses, bathrobes, and then the rest. Wait, can I show them something? Where's the hook that fell off the wall? An octopus. It's creepy looking. It's, I know it's creepy. Somebody actually sent me these. It's, it makes a um, I know. It's okay. Somebody sent me these a long time ago, and I've been putting them in her room for her bags, and they're so cute. Okay, you can hang your bags up now. Okay, so we're making progress, at okay. least on the clothes. And Mr. Leo fell asleep in the process. Yay. We have lots of clothes awesome. for donation. One, two, three. And still have all her doll furniture, but that's okay. Bags of clothes. Yeah. And trust me, there's way much in those bags. We cleared out her shoes too. This is an idea if you guys need to store your kids' shoes. You can get these super cheap at Target. They fit a ton. We have one in Bentley's too, but he's sleeping. Yeah, they just hang behind the door. Mm -hmm. Leo finally woke up. I've been laying next to him, getting some work done while he slept. He crashed on Addie's bed. Careful, gentle. Who's got you? Your big brother? I got Yeah. Oh, you do. You. Did you have a sleepy? Did you have a nice sleepy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ready to go eat? Yeah. Let's go. No. Daddy, what do you think? Best you never movie. This? Best movie ever, right? You never watch this? No. Grease is finally on Netflix. Do you love it? Of course she loves it. Do you love it? Good chat. Look at this one making me dinner. Whoa, that's really close. Tell them how you make that special concoction. We've already gone over this No, I don't times. feel like we've shared this kind. We've shared your other kind. This is the better kind. Avocado and red onion. Avocado, onion, uh, olive oil, garlic. Crushed garlic? And garlic lime. powder. Garlic crushed. It's crushed. He made rice. 
and broccoli and salmon. Oh, give me one of those. On Mondays, we eat salmon. I should get a t-shirt that says that. On Mondays, we eat salmon. And watch The Batch. Dan just left to go get Starbucks and we're gonna watch The Bachelor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for hanging out today and spending the day with us. And we will see you in my next one. Bye.